Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Tuesday, September 17th. Yesterday, we saw that God is calling out those false prophets that are prophesying out of what they want, what they think, and manipulating and deceiving the people into taking their focus off of God and instead put their focus on them. They're working on glorifying themselves. A chapter 13 is all about calling out these prophets, these false prophets. So that brings us to 13, um, chapter 13, verse 3, and it says, Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. So right here, God is clearly calling it out and clearly defining. He is saying, they say they saw something, but they didn't. All they're doing is following their own intentions. Verse four, your prophets have been like jackals among ruins, O Israel. Think about what a jackal does. They feed on the, the dead. They feed on that dead meat. You have not gone up into the breaches or built a wall for the house of Israel that it might stand in battle in the day of the Lord. Now pay attention to that wall because as we go through this week, that wall is going to be very important. It's basically saying you have not built up a wall that's gonna hold for the, for the people of Israel and you have not made it so that it's ready to handle the battles that are coming in the day of the Lord. <coughs> They have seen false visions and lying divinations. They say, declares the Lord, when the Lord has not sent them, yet they expect him to fulfill their word. They are saying this is something that the Lord has declared. They're expecting that it's going to be fulfilled and they never even heard it from the Lord. You have not, you have not seen a false vision and uttered a lying divination. Whenever you have said, declares the Lord, although I have not spoken. Oh, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Have you not seen a false vision and uttered a lying divination whenever you have said, declares the Lord, although I have not spoken? It's basically like saying, you know, I talked to my neighbor from across the street and he told me that his house has seven floors underground and you never talk to the neighbor, and you're spreading this all over the, um, the neighborhood. It's kind of like spreading a rumor, but it's going much deeper because it's taking the Lord and it's taking the Lord's name and putting his credit to something that is not true and was never said by the Lord. And the Bible warns us about false teachers and false prophets. We see that in 1 John 4 verses 1 to 6. I'm sorry, verse one, it says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. We're to check, does this glorify God? Does this bring people closer to God? If it doesn't, it is not from God and we should not be following it. In Matthew 7, 15, verses, uh, 7, verses 15 to 20, it says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Think about the fact that yesterday we said that these people, these false prophets were using sorcery and magic to gain a following among these people and pull them away from God. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs or from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every three tree that does bear good fruit is cut down, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. That's that judgment that's coming to these false prophets. Thus, you will recognize them by their fruits. Remember, scripture always interprets scripture. And when we take this from Matthew 7, 15 to 20, it's exactly what is being predicted in Ezekiel. Ezekiel is 
truly getting the word from the Lord. And Ezekiel is calling out these false prophets and saying, you're about to be the tree with the bad fruit that is thrown into the fire because the Lord's not gonna tolerate it anymore. Putting it into our times, putting it into today. You know, you have we have all these people that are that give you for prophecy. You, you can find tons of it all over the internet. But if what they say is not straight from the Lord, if it pulls you away from God and makes you put your faith and trust in someone or something other than God, then it is not coming from the Lord. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.